To write the Lewis structure for the hydroxide ion, let's first count up the valence electrons. Oxygen, that is right here, it's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It has six valence electrons. Hydrogen, over here, here's hydrogen, it's in group 1, it has one valence electron. Now we need to deal with this negative sign. The negative sign here, it's 1 minus, although we don't write the 1. That means that we have one extra electron. Electrons are negative, and this is our extra electron. So we're just going to add one here. That gives us a total of 6 plus 1 plus 1, 8 valence electrons for the hydroxide Lewis structure. So we have oxygen and then the hydrogen. We have a total of eight valence electrons. We'll put the first two between the oxygen and the hydrogen, and that forms the chemical bond. This pair of electrons is shared between the oxygen and the hydrogen. Next, we'll go around and complete the octet on the oxygen. So we have two, four, six, and then eight. We've completed the octet around the oxygen atom. It has eight valence electrons, very stable. And we've used all eight of our valence electrons. Hydrogen, it only has two valence electrons here, but that's okay. Hydrogen only needs two valence electrons when we draw Lewis structures. So this is the Lewis structure for the hydroxide ion. Because it's an ion, let's put brackets around it. And then we put that negative charge there right outside the brackets. So this is the Lewis structure for OH minus, the hydroxide ion. Note that the molecular geometry, since there's only two atoms here, the molecular geometry would be linear, bond angle of 180. And if you looked at the hybridization on the oxygen here, that would be sp3. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.